Hello guys, welcome back to Gangri Albo. When it solely comes to fitness, Alexei Vavoda is up there. For me, he is the kind of guy that would do very well in any kind of sport if he tries to. But when it comes to arm wrestling, you will need some kind of specialization to be able to reach the top, top level. Like Devin Larratt, for example. On Engen's podcast, Alexei explains that he will not reach the shape or conditioning that he wants at least until next year. And by that, he means because he's been doing many types of sports all this time, like bobsled and boxing, for example. His muscles are well conditioned, but not his bones. And when we're talking about bones, for Alexei, you will need some pretty dense bones if you want to succeed in arm wrestling. Because of the static movements, instead of the dynamic movements like any other sports. Uh, Alexei talking about uh, uh, density of the bones. It's uh, mm -hmm. different uh, because of the different sports uh, require different training. So, uh, bobs bobsleigh requires different training because you can uh, reduce your density of the bones. Because you don't mm -hmm. need uh, the muscles to be that strongly attached uh, with mm -hmm. attendance to the bone. Uh, in arm wrestling, it's completely different training. So basically, you lifting weights, you lifting heavy, you doing some impacts on your bones, and your bones uh, uh, getting uh, more dense, so they weigh more, and uh, your tendons uh, mm -hmm. holding your muscles That's much interesting. better. That's very interesting. Yeah. Even though he feels like he's still far from his desired shape, Alexei still looked very good on the table and at the gym lately. He did beat John like 20 years ago, but because he's definitely not the same Alexei right now and for now, I don't know who's gonna win in 9 days.